In Six Sigma, one of the things we want to do is reduce variability because variability leads to increased costs, which leads to problems down the line. And so what we want to do is use some tools to assist us in that. Uh, if you have two samples of normal data here, so we see group one and group two, and you can use what's called an F-test to do the analysis. So here's our data. And again, you can see here we've got group one and group two. If you select that data with your mouse, and you don't have to have an equal number, so maybe this is recipe one, recipe two, we can click on the QI macros, choose an, under our NOVA tools, you can choose F-test, two samples for variance, and that'll go off and it'll prompt you for a level of significance. 0.05 is pretty standard. <clears throat> and then it'll go do the analysis. And it'll give you a p-value for one-tailed and two-tailed distribution. And if you compare that to our 0.05's level of significance, you can see these are both greater than that. And so we can't reject the null hypothesis. We have to accept that, yes, indeed, these two variances, even though they look different, are essentially the same from a statistical point of view. And so it makes it very quick to go out and do the analysis and determine, uh, do we have a significant difference in variability or not? And so the F-test is very easy to use. And you can download a 30-day trial of the QI macros from qimacros.com.